Hi guys and welcome back this morning. Um, we are going to be doing some Monday reset. And so I'm starting out cooking us some breakfast, getting it going. Yesterday was a little bit slow for me, but today, sis, bruh, I got this, okay? Um, so for my um, cream cheese... Icing cinnamon rolls, yes. Mm-hmm. They look so good and delicious. What I add on them, just tip to tip, just to make them liven them up and make them taste so good. Um, leave them out. Babe taught me this. He didn't want to show me, but he said that he leave the um, cinnamon rolls out like if they were dinner rolls to like kind of throw out and get uncold. Um, and just sit them on the stove while the stove is on. <clears throat> and Yes, they're going to kind of melt a little bit, but once you put them in the oven, they'll be uh, bigger than what they're actually supposed to be. So, you would just treat them like rolls, um, as if they was like homemade yeast rolls, how you just sit them out and let the, let the, the flour or the, the batter of the rolls like kind of like throw out um, or proof or whatever, however you say it. Um, so, I add a little bit of brown sugar, just a little bit. It don't take a lot. Um, a little bit of honey and some ground cinnamon. Now I go overboard on the cinnamon because I love me some cinnamon. With that, with that brown sugar and that cinnamon, most people use uh, white sugar and cinnamon, but I like the brown sugar and cinnamon. This is light brown sugar, um, and then I go in with a little bit of honey on top of that um, because this is the light uh, brown sugar. It doesn't really taste like you know really sweet. And then it also comes with its own like icing. So once those are in the oven, I'll stick this icing on the stove, let it um, kind of cook a little bit. We're just doing a quick, simple, minimal, easy breakfast. I got the stove on so we can cook the. Um, I'm gonna turn up just a little bit. Um, the um, red potatoes. They're red potatoes. They're pig sweet farms. Red potatoes with uh, bell peppers, sweet bell peppers, and onions. I added some onions and then I added my season on top already so if you don't know what the pig sweet farms uh, seasoned vegetable for air fryers um, you can put these in the air fryer but I'm gonna put mine on the stove because I like that you know that that cook that that browning effect um, but yeah it already have it's like um, olive oil sea salt and cracked black pepper but I did add my seasoning because you know sometimes they don't season it they don't season it <laughs> Um, so the season I use is just my handy dandy minimal seasonings. You know, I got so many seasons up in this cabinet. <laughs> it's a shame. But I love these. These are my favorite. So we're going to go in with some garlic. We're going to go in with my favorite Louisiana Cajun seasoning. That's like my run to go to. This just happened to my seasoning. Look all beat up. I got this from Sam's. I like to get my seasonings from Sam's because it's, um, I like the bulkness of it. And it lasts so long. Um, and we went to Sam's like a few months back when I got this. Um, so this is the Weber's roasted garlic and herb. But yeah, I put accident sitting on the stove and it just kind of bent up. But this is so good. It does have its own like salt in it, but it's not a lot of salt. So um, the flavor of it is really, really good. And then I added an extra bit of the Simple Truth Organic Extra version olive oil. I think I got this because it's Simple Truth from Kroger's. They had like a sale. Like, um, I bought a pack for like $2. So, um, yeah, I can't wait till they go back on sale because that's a, get a good, like a good deal. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up. And then, um, actually put everything in the stove. And then when everything's done, y'all, because I'm going to be, um, filming my laundry content as well, because everything done. Um, and then I'm going to do, be doing a few, um, actually we're going to do some laundry, clean some dishes. Um, and then... Yeah, I don't know what else we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing it because we need to reset. Definitely need to reset. 
So you guys, I'm gonna be in between cooking breakfast and chit chatting with Ashton and also doing some laundry. So yeah, bear with me. I hope you I hope you survive. For me. So this is our laundry stuff that we got from moms. I know this is my laundry detergent pot um, jar. My mom gave us um, a whole bunch of the Tide um, sensitive powder. Um, so we're going to try that out. And I just put it in here because I'm going to get rid of, um, use all that, and then get rid of. Um, she hooked this up, y'all. Thanks to mom. Shout out, mom. She hooked this up with some laundry powder stuff. And then also she gave us a little bit of the. Uh, Tied liquid detergent as well because girl laundry detergent get expensive and then I haven't been to CVS to coupon um, Digital coupon so I told her I needed just a little bit and she hooked us up with a lot more than a little bit So thank you so much mama I already got like one load down and which is my towels. I forgot to put like one or one or two towels in, so I'll put that in later um, when I start doing the um, the laundry for our bedding. But she did give me some of the scent boosters. Not sure what brand it is, but it smells really good. It's probably the Purex brand. So. Ash West. Are you finished with your train? I'm just trying to dry. I normally just put one scoop at the bottom um, of the laundry thing. It smells really good. I don't use powder laundry detergent or laundry powder, but I don't have like a little spoon for this, so I'm just kind of measuring by eye. all my coats and jackets and make sure you check your pockets. Check all pockets before you put in the uh, laundry because honey wants to zen is in. And these are the six towels that um, I didn't get a chance to put into the um,
like I need to put some regular oil in here, y'all. That olive oil. I don't know. This right here, this little bag, like I would upsize the bag if you are a bigger family or get a another bag of this because y'all I figured out how to save and reuse my oil. Especially there's nothing wrong with it. Um I figured out how to save and reuse it and I just put it in like a little Dollar Tree um container. This is what I got like my um laundry stuff in but this was an extra one so I definitely was like I'm gonna say some of that grease because I honestly didn't um let me check because them Rachel Ray pins y'all they they be uh cooking quick and I'm gonna give it like two or three more minutes but look at those cinnamon rolls y'all Actually, I need to check the bottom because every time I cook in that pan, I forget about it and it, they come out burnt. Like our uh, biscuits one day. So I'm going to put them in there like for a minute, like a minute or two. Just to make sure they're done. I'm going to turn over um, our sausages. These right here, I forgot to let you guys know, these four over here is mine and these are the, the guys. There's their sausage. When I tell you, I've just put this stuff in this oven. And it's already browning and it's already cooking quick. It's raining in Dallas too as well. So, um, I was going to go to, me and Ash going to go to Dollar Tree just to see what they had. But he wants to go to... Um, half, I'm not half pipe bookstore, but um, what is the name of it, Ashley? Barnes and, Nobles. Barnes and Nobles. And I'm like, it's way across town, it's way across town, and Dollar Tree is just like right there, and it's raining, so we just gonna have to wait like until like it's a really like a nice day out because it's we just really vote. raining. We shouldn't vote, no, we shouldn't vote. I'm a mama. What I say goes. So this is breakfast, y'all. Our potatoes, sausage, eggs, cheese eggs, and our um, cinnamon rolls. They came out so good. And the good thing about it, I didn't burn them. So I'm really excited. So I'm about, we're about to eat. So I'm using this Dollar Tree Ultra Deluxe um, Fresh Apple Dishwashing Liquid. I like it. Um, and it also has like enough suds, but I'm one of those type of people I love a lot of suds. So I did go in with like two pumps of my palm olive and the dish soap. Um, and as you can see, it does have suds. So if you're just looking for that minimal, normal, simple suds in your dish um, wash, then you will be fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with the Dollar Tree brand um, dish soap. Um, there's another one that I like. It's called Floral something. Tropical Floral or Floral Tropical. Something in that nature and it's in the red. And lately I, when I went like probably about two or three months ago they didn't have it. So, um, but y'all look at, look, look at y'all nephew. He, look at y'all nephew. Being um, very responsible, he was trying to wash the dishes, and I was like, "No, I'll wash them." Um, but I'm just one of those people like I wash my own dishes. Like I have a thing where I just see the grease, the nastiness on the dishes to be off. Um, we do have a dishwasher, you guys, but I don't use it. <laughs> Oh, 
When I say you have to stay on your kids, you have to stay on your kids, period. Okay? Mamas, don't let your foot down on them. Never stay it. on them. Okay? I wanted to say, um, if you've made it this far, definitely give your girl a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Like, you didn't come this far not to subscribe. And remember to turn on all post notifications so that you get all of my uploads when I post, which is daily. Um, and also share me out um, and shout me out. Also, I will, if you are a YouTuber, just as myself, um, let me know in the comment section and I will definitely come to your channel and subscribe and watch because I love binge watching all my sis things, all my sis channels. Um, so, but um, anyways, I want to thank you guys in advance for watching um, because this video is going to end pretty soon. So I want to just come on here and say thank you so much and I appreciate you guys for um, supporting the channel.